Hi, welcome to another video from First in Architecture. It's Emma here. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, measure and draw out angled walls when you're doing a measured survey. Um, this is in response to a comment I had on one of my posts, so thank you for your comment. Um, so here I've drawn out um, a very basic, simple um, room which has one angled wall and we're going to look at how to measure that out and then I'm going to draw it out in CAD afterwards. <clears throat> so this, first of all, um, there are a couple of ways you can do this. So we get, first of all we're going to start off with um, the simple, simplest way. Okay, so we're going to select our tape measure tool and all we need to do in um, the first option uh, is simply measure the distance of each wall. Um, so you would go from corner to corner. If you were doing this in reality, you'd sort of pick a, a point um, along the walls and you'd try and be consistent as to where you take that measurement along the walls. So ex for example, like elbow level or hip level. Um, <clears throat> so you just take these, uh, each measurement of each wall. So we would then come up with something like this. So say this is your survey drawing. You've drawn out the simple shape of the room um, and you've taken each wall measurement, ignore the green for a second, so we've just taken a measurement of each wall. Okay, so now we'll head into CAD and start drawing up our um, our survey. So I'm going to start off by drawing this um, base wall over here. Turn also on um, 4100. Just going to zoom extents because that's quite a big line. Okay. Um, and then we're going to draw the two um, vertical lines, we're not going to draw the angled wall just yet, so PL polyline Okay, so already you can see we've got the shape of the room um, and just by Drawing the first three sides, we we don't even need to work out the angle. We can just fill in um, that final one. If I just turn off ortho, that's coming out at 5485.9. And as you can see on the survey drawing, we've got 5486. So it's, pre it's pretty close. Um, so that's one way of doing it. Uh, you just draw all the other sides first, and then you put the angled line in last. And that will give you the correct... Uh, angle of the wall. We can then take that meant that uh, angle as a, as a dimension. So if we type in dim ang, um, that comes up with the angle dimension tool. So we're going to select the first line, select the second line, and you can see it's pulling away. And this is the angle we want. I haven't set up my dimensions on this, um, and I will quickly do that uh, dim style. I'll just quickly modify it to make the text larger so we can see what's going on. <clears throat> there we go. So we can see that this angle here is 48 degrees. Um, so that's a quick way of, number one, drawing up a survey that's got an angled wall. You just make sure that you draw the um, straight walls first, as it were. Okay, in this, in this scenario, um, imagine we wanted to actually find out what the angle um, of this wall was, and um, there's a fairly straightforward way you can do that. Um, so in this scenario, I'm going to measure from the, um, I'm going to select two sort of points, um, and for this um, we've got two windows, so I'm going to use those. So you're going to take measurements from the edge of the window to the, the corner. You're going to want a measurement from the other wall to the corner, and then your final measurement will be from window to window, so you're basically measuring a triangle um, and with the measurements of each side of the triangle you'll be able to figure out using basic maths um, the angle of your triangle. So here in the green you can see these measurements that we've taken um, to create that triangle. Okay, so let's say that we weren't entirely sure if all of the walls were at right angles or if they're all at uh, unusual angles. Um, it was difficult to tell from the survey 
then we need to take a slightly different approach to how we draw this up. So let's go back to the SketchUp model, back to our survey, um, and just take a couple more measurements that will help us draw it up with lots of unusual angled walls. So the additional information we need to take when we're carrying out our survey, which I'd recommend you do whether the, line, whether the uh, walls are at angles or not, if everything's at right angles, um, you should do this anyway as good practice, and that's taking um, diagonal measurements of a room. So what we need to do is take a measurement from this corner here over to that corner there, and likewise we need to take our measurement from this corner right over to that corner there. So what that will give us is these two measurements here you can see in orange. So if we now head back into CAD, we can have a look at how we draw these up. So here we have our um, survey with the additional measurements on. So we will make a start on drawing up this as if the walls may or may not be at right angles. So we'll start off with the um, base wall again, which is 4100. And this is when we're going to start to do things a little bit differently. So we're going to draw circles um, instead of drawing the lines. So with the left hand long wall, um, I'm going to start a circle from the base point there. I'll start pulling this up and the measurement for that long wall is 6355. 6355. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to draw, we're basically trying to get the length of this wall and where it intersects. So instead of drawing um, the other vertical wall, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw um, this this measurement here, the uh, measurement from the bottom right hand corner up to the top left, ha left hand corner. Um, so C for circle again, I'm going to start drawing this. And as you can see, it's 7562, 7562. And here we have an inter intersection of the two circles. So I will now draw a line from that base point up to that intersection. Um, I don't think I've got my snap on for intersection, let me just have a look. Yeah, there we go. Um, and there we go. So now we have our line. As you can see there, it's not exactly straight. There's a slight little kink in it. Um, so let's do that again for the other side. I'm just going to erase those two circles just so it's not confusing. In fact, I'll do my circles in another colour. Um, so again, we can, we'll can we start off the small one, which is uh, 2710. And then we're going to take the other measurement the uh, diagonal measurement 4915 from here 4915 and once again we've got an intersection and that brings us to that point there and then once again we can see that these two basically can just be joined up so using circles um, to find an intersection of a point um, is really useful when you've done a survey. So, I mean, my recommendations when you're doing surveys is take as many measurements as possible. Always take diagonals because it just means you can check and double check everything. Um, so those are a couple of ways to figure out how to draw up um, walls with unusual angles um, from your survey drawings and putting them into CAD. Um, I hope this has helped, and until next time, thanks for watching.